All right, we're going live, boys. This is TSU's match to lose and to win. I mean, I guess it's, I guess the tech the right way to say it it's a sense match to lose, but TSU is got everything on the line right now. If TSU loses, Ascent is the uh, ESCA invite champion. So, um, gonna see this rollout here. I'm gonna watch Mela because he likes to uh, go behind sometimes. Actually, it looks like he's changed his playstyle a little bit. He's just gonna hold the flank here. And uh, I'm gonna watch now Badonski. He's getting really aggressive with these donks. Very, very uh, close there. Ninja Nick down to about 60 health from uh, the cannonballs, but no one dying, no one fully committing here. Block trying to push the point, but he's gonna get zombied by Yomps. Yomps gonna go down. And um, Block actually surviving there, keeping the donks alive. And uh, Ascent just gonna back it out. No soldier committed on that on that mid. Neither team, either soldier committed. Rando though with the Uber, he's gonna be confident. Even though Yomps has only just spawned, Rando's just gonna walk on the point. He's getting focused so low. They just need to keep spamming him down. This is how I like to play against Rando, is just spam that kid down. Just make him so low that 404 has to risk dropping him. And look, now he has to tunnel the Uber onto Rando. Rando's just going to jump around, hits a good rocket onto uh, Sizer, and now he's behind. He's going to get health, and he's going to come in from behind now. Bombing straight in onto Block, takes him down with two nice rockets. 58 health in the house, 30 health. Sizer cleans him up, so doing a really good job with the cleanup. Ooh. This is where the zombies really shine. But uh, it's just Badonski who survives with one health, and he's, he's going to run. He's going to get out. Not worth it to chase there, Sizer. Because he does actually get faster spawns. This is Viaduct, but Nick with a 50% advantage. So now the standard play is going to be to uh, suicide. So we're going to see Mela. We're going to see Rando. We're going to see everyone except for 404 commit here. He's going to put the heals up. He's going to let them go in. And then he's going to probably run away. But they just focus fire the people that are on the point. Ascent, honestly, in that situation, I think they wanted to die. They wanted to lose a few people just to get picks. But since they ended up getting the picks... They um, they uh, just went with it and committed. Um, TSU had uber advantage, but it's dwindled away now. Showstopper's trying to jump up, but he's... 4 uh, 4s at 90 already. I want to see the counter uber, though, from uh, Rando once again. Who's playing confident here. Sizer gives up the early pick again to um, Mela and Shrugger playing that flank. And usually in these situations, Ascent just, like, floods people around. Rando goes in, and then he, like draws a ton of attention and then you have Shrugger and Melo just bombing in. Here's a solo play attempt from Grape. Ooh, actually Alec goes in, makes the play, Showstopper committing. So actually a really great repush here from TSU coordinating super well. Um, they should delay this cap. They should not have capped that until Grape or Alec spawned because now TSU is going to have uh, slower spawns. Ascent will have the spawn advantage and the numbers. Grape's not going to be there, and As Alec will not be there. And Ascent is already going to be pushing through. Melo on the cliff. I think he's just going to jump up and try and distract. They know they have the numbers. Shrugger's making tons of room. Just jumping in on the point. Hasn't been touched, in fact. And the zombie is uh, is actually going to go down. Rando, though, somehow behind. He is running gunboats now, actually, on this map. Other maps, he ran shotgun. Just going to play height advantage. Not going to get challenged. He's going to get out. And... Um, On the whole, time's actually in favor of TSU. So they're at a 20 second lead. Even Ubers though in this push. Shrugger has only just spawned. But honestly, on the point. Um, honestly, TSU needs to start dropping Rando. If Rando dies, they will start winning. Because they are doing a really good job actually of focusing down the scouts. Yomps has done next to nothing this entire game. Sizer dying first once again. Shrugger... Brains. He goes down. Rando's gonna kill Block. If Rando died, I think TSU would win this match. Or this, like, start winning rounds. Because Rando's honestly the one making the most chaos. Yomps is doing nothing. Um, Mela low. Good cleanup from Alec. And th they kill Rando here. Oh, Rando's gonna get out. He got arrowed, actually. Uh... But Ascent just not giving up. They're just going to start fucking repush once again. Badonski doesn't care. And Showstopper and Grape are nowhere to be seen. And they just jump in. I don't understand how this works. 
Nick goes down, 404 lives, untouched. I really don't get it. Like, oh, Grape actually comes in from behind. Um, and with 404 down, that's going to give them a chance to push out here. Sizer's going to lead the way. Sizer just needs to not die. If he See, that scout's isolated. He should hit him a little bit, push him out, and then just make room for his team. He just can't die. Dance on the rock a bit. Make some room for your team. Mela's behind. Oh, they don't see Mela. Mela's going to come in. He's going to trade with Sizer in the tunnel. And I think Rando's just going to commit. Look at this. These zombies just shoot Showstopper out of the sky. Oh my god. And then they just push. I, I hate this. Look at this scout. Yomps almost kills Ninja Nick down to 16 health. It honestly frustrates me watching this. It really frustrates me. Even times right now. Flashbacks to my match against uh, Ascent on this match where we got them down to overtime three times and then proceeded to beef every round. Every possible um, chance we had at winning. Actually, if they get this cap, this could be huge because then um, Ascent should have to uber first. Mela goes down. Sizer again the first death. Randall just walking behind the point. So, oh, Nick actually popped first. Okay, that's god-awful. They're going to lose this round guaranteed. Rando needs to die. Showstopper. If Rando died, there was a chance. But he's alive and they're three down. And Ninja Nick's dead somehow. And they still have Uber. So, that's the round. And, uh, Alex going to go for a desperate play, but nothing he can do. Okay, here's what needs to change right now. Sizer needs to stop being the first one dead every push. And Rando needs to die once. And then they'll win. <clears throat> so, uh, here we go. Into the next mid. I think they're going to take this aggressive. Showstopper walking into the point. Mela actually switching it up behind. Shrugger just pushing immediately. Showstopper's going for air shots. Both soldiers behind. And... He's actually going to do good damage to both scouts. One of them goes down, but someone gets double donked. Rando behind. And 404 is going to survive. Actually, Sizer's getting a kill. 404 gets the kill with the arrow. Nick's alive? Okay. I didn't know that. Um, but Onski capping. Yomp's coming in. Mela on the late spawn. They actually extend Mela's spawn, so that's, that's pushable. Down one. I'd push off that. Showstopper gets double docked. He's going to go down. So everything's going to slow down for the next 10 seconds. And um, now Yomps is just behind. And he's going to 1v1 someone. Two shot onto Alec somehow. Ninja Nick's dead. I don't know. The awareness, like, whenever people play against Ascent, I don't know what it is, but they just... They don't keep track of these fucking people that just sit in the most obvious spots. It even happened to us. Like, they just sit on the flank and try to... Every time you uber, they push the flank. Is that... Is that revolutionary? I don't fucking think so. <coughs> I think Sugar found a weakness in the play. No. He should be dead instantly. Alright. Trap is dead. Mela is dead. 404 is at 90 though, so... They're just trying to push into this Uber right now. Showstopper gets the force. Nick's only at 90! And he's gonna die. So they didn't track the Uber very well. The instant the Uber was popped, Ninja Nick should have been out. He was here when the Uber was popped, and he died right here. So basically, he took five steps during that entire sequence. So, he died. However, um, 404 did somehow die. It's the only saving grace in this round, but time has certainly slipped away. Everyone's going to converge on Ninja Nick, probably, and he's going to die somehow. Um, but uh, two minutes off the clock from Ascent. And TSU is scared to even get on the point right now. Somehow, Ascent is keeping the pressure up. But Onski just avoiding every piece of damage. And he just holds W. As he's, he's actually revolutionizing the zombie demo playstyle now. Rando hits that air shot, so nice rocket there. Somehow losing four people 
and not capping when three people on Ascent are dead. They're just playing way more confident on Ascent. And then, look at that. Ninja Nick's dead to his scout, who somehow gets in and doesn't even shoot him. I don't understand. Six health on Shrugger, and I bet he doesn't die. People just don't shoot these weak Ascent players. They just don't shoot them. Shrugger does not deserve to be a lie. Alec in on the point. There's 10 seconds left. 404 Ubers. Rando is going to bomb in and have the best Uber of his life. Oh, it's actually Mela. Mela and Shrugger. They're just killing everybody, man. But Grape and uh, Alec. First melee kill of the Grand Finals from Shrugger. And first round, or second round actually, goes to Ascent. Halfway to being uh, champions of ESEA Invite. And uh, it's it's certainly quite possible at this point that TSU will win zero rounds in the grand final. <coughs> Shrugger is still full health, even though he was just out in the open and has been chasing players for the last... He took zero damage. And two people are dead from TSU. And then the zombies go kill block. Um, and now they're actually going to try and forward hold, so Badonsky's going to hold the cliff. Make sure no one can push through there. As a demo, it's uh, it's pretty easy to hold this. Because it's a blind corner for them, and there's just really no way to clear the traps off of this. Grape's trying to snipe. He's just going to walk through. Okay, they didn't forward hold. Um, often you don't want to hold a forward hold if you're down one. And Rando was dead at the time. So... He uh, opts to back up. But the, the sniper from Grape is forcing Ascent to play kind of passive. They're trying to change it up. I feel like Grape is not being very uh, effective at all. So going sniper might be his idea of, um, you know, plan B. And um, Nick's dead. But Onski can just jump in and do whatever the fuck he wants and just get away with it, apparently. 4-4 eats a massive rocket, but... Everyone's dead from TSU. And a late death from Grape. So they're going to pull up the forward hold now. And uh, Rando's on the right. But Onski dead actually leaves a pretty big vulnerability here. The cliff is completely open. They just need to discover that right now. There's only a scout here. And a Sizer gets through. And all of a sudden it's going to back it up. 4 4 is at 60%. So if TSU is going to push this, they need to do it now. Shrugger extended actually takes quite a bit of damage. But he trades with Alec. Mela's holding this tunnel. Somehow Showstopper's dead. And Mela goes down. So Block actually in a great position to do damage to everybody on Ascent. Putting those cannonballs in place. Cutting off 4-4. And now Grape's trying to chase. But 4-4 gets the luckiest surf of his life and gets out. So that's what happens sometimes. Sizer on the chase. He's going to die to Rando. Somehow Rando hits a 70 damage. Do it. He does a 70 damage rocket. And uh, Ascent just walking up. Rando doesn't care if he takes damage. He just walks. He just pushes you. And he's he gets the force first. How can you be walking up a slope? I don't get it. I really don't understand. Actually, they, they didn't pop first. But I don't get how Rando gets anything done on these Ubers where he just walks across the entire map. And... Um, Mela hits a direct there on the show. But 404 is low. Mela's low. Let's see if their zombies can make some room here. Yomps on the left. Shrugger on the right takes out Grape somehow, who isolates himself once again. TSU holding onto the point. Um, burned a minute off the clock, but down numbers now. A sense just going to roll it in here. The key difference, honestly, is that on Ascent, neither of their scouts have poorly timed deaths. They're always alive. They never have poorly timed deaths. But you keep seeing Sizer get picked off or Grape get picked off at really god-awful times. It doesn't matter if Mela dies. Like, he's completely irrelevant to Ascent winning. Okay, well, Yomps just died. Um, it's a good push. I guess since there was no Ubers in play, they kind of just caught caught in a team fight. But um, 
This is the chance for TSU to actually burn some time. What kind of cat do I have? This kind. This one right here. Shrugger dying too. Okay. Their luck is turning around. Mela isolated on the left. He's at like 70 health and he's still pushing. And Rando gets the solo force. He's the only person on his team that committed. Good kind, thank you. So time is actually almost even, but 404 is going to have the Uber. Sizer's going to probably try and get behind here. Left side's actually wide open. Rando's pushing in. He actually doesn't get flashed, so he's somewhat weak, but he's going to rebomb right now. Showstopper dies. Block dies. How do they get so fucking deep with their Ubers popped in such poor position? They just don't care. They just push. They're all zombies, man. 44 seconds now. Uber advantage for Ninja Nick. Full Uber, actually. Shrugger's up on this awning. I'm sure he's going to kill someone. He kills Alec. Oh, Showstopper, you want to die too? Okay. Oh, you have Uber? And this is the most important battle of the entire match? And there's a scout on your medic? And he's in your spawn and he's still alive? Oh. Okay. Oh, and your demo's solo bombing in onto the point, doing zero damage? That's how you play the Grand Finals, apparently. God damn it, man. They don't deserve... Badonski dead. Yomp's getting bailed out by Rando there. And this round is over. Ascent 3-0. First half, over. <coughs> Kitty. How do we lose to TSU? I have no idea, man. Well, I know how. Because my teammates didn't practice and didn't want to play that match. That's basically it. And I wasn't good enough. Is this invite? Yes, it is. How many maps are they playing? They're playing a best of three. The next round over... Uh, Next round for Ascent, we'll end it. Why oh, you still get ads on stream when subbed? Because uh, that was only a feature like like a couple years ago where you don't get ads when subbed, unfortunately. Zombies is the new meta, yeah, pretty much. Like, I don't know who on Ascent is possibly calling. Like, who on that team speaks or says anything other than I'm pushing! Like... I, I don't understand how that team functions to this day. But... I guess it's enough to win invite. Are there any players on these teams that I think are significantly better than me? Shrugger is probably way better than me at Scout. <clears throat> he just hits every shot. I don't know. 404 is probably better than me at Medic. I don't know, they're all probably better than me to be honest. But I care more, and that's all I need. Alright, here it is, Showstopper. It's your time to shine, my friend. We're live in the second half, the last round of the Grand Finals. Showstopper hits a meaty direct on a scout who just runs away and survives. Rando with the BM, gonna run the DH, takes out Sizer. And they still win this mid despite having no soldiers to bomb. And a zombie on the medic. And, um... Actually, Showstopper somehow gets uh, the kill on the medic. <clears throat> when do I think I'll join a team? In the next two weeks, I'm sure I'll be on a new team. 
All right, first mid goes to Ascent, but 404 is dead. Badonski gets the early pick on Grape. Mela's going to waddle around, and uh, he's going to make the expert decision to uh, push the flank here. And he's going to get out, perfectly baiting all of TSU into him. <clears throat> that amazing initiation and gets out. That would never happen against those zombies on his team. Rando's still running the DH. Let's see if he can hit a rocket. Let's see. Sizer, early death. <clears throat> Rando just going to walk in. Literally just going to walk in on Viaduct. Ninjanik pops the Uber. Showstopper going to get doubled while Ubered. Those fat mini crits that do zero damage from Rando. But now he's going to walk in and have the uh, DH Uber of his life. Somehow they kill everybody, and he bombs in with the DH. And he hits a scout once. He's still... He's still alive! He does not deserve to be alive! He should be dead! He's still... He trades! God fucking damn, dude. Alright, TCU's gonna cap. Let's see if they delay the spawn for their demo to spawn, or if they just... Extend his spawn. Ooh, they they played it right. They played it well. Um, Block gets the spawn, and uh, Ninjanik has a slight Uber advantage. All right, let's see how Sizer dies this time. How you gonna do it, Paul? What are you gonna do? How you gonna die? I wanna know. Go, Paul! Go! 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 Sizer pushes the flank, sees Mela, and all of Ascent is on the point. Sizer running away, but he's gonna go for it. <laughs> they just give it up! They just give it up! But Rando's dead. Zombie, on your medic, block goes down. Nick, full health, surprising. Uh, 404 half health. This is when you force them. This is when you force them. This is when you force them. Not play like little bitches. Da -da 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 -da. And uh, all of TSU on the point. But uh, guess who's gonna walk in? It's Ascent. The uh, the W key is their preferred method of transportation. As they walk into middle, 404 not gonna flash his scout. Gonna send all of his team in behind. Rando running that DH still. Zombie kills Ninja Nick. 404 untouched. Completely untouched. Still untouched. Ooh, down to two health, but survives. And, um. <clears throat> it's gonna be a slight Uber advantage for. for Ascent, but Rando has only just spawned, so Ascent will uh, obviously not be able to hold while Rando's not in position, right? Certainly not. Showstopper punishes Rando, and Showstopper in deep! Oh, show! But Shrugger is gonna get uh, a frag. Yomps is at 7 health, he gets out. Sh Melee at 8 health, he's gonna get out. But... All is not lost. 404 actually died. And, um... They're gonna be walking in now. Here comes Showstopper in late. But Nick on the point. Can he drop this? Okay. He actually flashes his teammate, but guess who's behind? Guess who's behind? Shrugger in the perfect position to not die ever. Actually, Yomps also somehow on the medic. TSU ride the tsunami. Here we go. They're going to cap and win this round. The clock ticking down. Rando on the original, though. Um, he uh, Apparently, the direct hit, not the uh, best strategy. So um, they're going to be uh, going into the next round actually trying. <coughs> And it's 3-1, uh, 3-1, to one, three to one, Ascent, uh, 
just casually going through this map. Um, and here's Rando sitting on the ground, shooting across the point. Everyone has team full health, and here they go. Here they go. Ooh, block kills Rando. Rando down. Block down. Here's Alec pushing the point and getting eaten alive by two zombies. And uh, he's dead. Ninja Nix is going to get zombie chased. Shrugger. Ooh, Shrugger gets denied, but he's gonna. He's thinking there might be a way. There still might be hope. Grape on Sniper trying to break out of this spawn. Uh, Rando not in position though. Badonski a bit weak. That cliffside's gonna fall to Shrugger. Um, but he still holds it. Nick out through main. The drop! Grape, nice shot. Nick, please look into the sky. Please look up. Everyone on Ascent is low, except uh, Yomps. Uh! He fucking gets him. How? How? Nice rocket from Grape. Badonski's alive, and he's actually not gonna die. Alright, here they go though. Ascent has burned a minute off the clock. Grape has done zero damage and he's dead. And Sizer's gonna not kill Ran- Ooh, Rando dies for once. Shrugger behind the rock. Kill Shrugger, kill Shrugger, kill Shrugger, kill Shrugger. Mela's from behind. Mela's coming in deep. Nick dies first somehow on a push. Uh, Alright, Alec has one health. You're gonna live. I know it. All right, he's dead. Grape in mega deep. These solo plays amounting to nothing. And uh, are we ready to crown our ESEA invite champions? Two minutes on the clock left to burn. They're just pushing out through main. Rando with the one air shot, but he's uh, he's not gonna be able to kill Showstopper in time to stop that Uber. Ooh, Showstopper landing on a lucky little ledge. Nick dies anyway. Nick dies anyway. Nick is dead. They get the force. They're still locked in spawn. And Nick is dead. And Badonski is going to pick forward with a loose cannon because he knows he's going to win. Just trying to bait someone into the trap. This is the... No! Please! Okay. The zombies! The fucking zombies! And they're all dead again. The fucking zombies! And he gets a kill with 5 health! Grape is on pyro now. The moment the pyro comes into play, you know it's over. So, 60 seconds. Um. <clears throat> Showstopper jumping up cliff. Last desperation move. Guess who has Uber? It's 404. They pop the Uber. Let's see if Showstopper's excellent le team leadership skills are going to come into play here, and they're going to actually come back here in this match. Showstopper, 200 health, getting bombed by Mela, down to 100 health now. Badonski going to be spamming Ninja Nick, first dead on a push. And uh, Grave is going to kill Badonski, Shrugger down too. The numbers actually slightly in favor of TSU. Sizer leading the way, going to not... Gonna actually not die to Mela for once, but he's gonna get pounded by Rando, who's gonna kill Showstopper and Sizer. 15 seconds left. Six seconds on the spawns. Ascent has numbers. They're gonna be on the point. This match is over, boys and girls. But Badonski's there, and he's gonna kill two or three people on the point. Watch. 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 One. Ooh, TSU's last second... Sizer play. And it's over. GG. GG. Well played. Congrats. TSU won a whopping single round in these grand finals. And uh, there it is. Ascent. ESCA invite champions. They've done it. <clears throat> it's over. It's over. TSU gets second place. Ascent gets first place. Going down the roster, first ever ESEA Invite Championship for Mela, Rando, Badonski, Yomps, 404, Shrugger, third. So, Shrugger, uh, there's seven people on the team now, I don't know.
Shrugger is a three-time ESEA champion now. And all these other people just won their first. So congrats to them. There you go.